Alright. Oh, shit. Oh, that scared me. <coughs> so I learned... Apparently they don't react to flashlights at all. So even though I was being totally stealthy... Doesn't matter. Even though I was being a total cool guy with all my stealth moves, there's really no point, apparently. I wonder what happens if you go on the bus. I wonder if she, like, wrecks the bus horribly. I don't understand. Oh, I could have disarmed the trap if I had held it. Yeah, you know, I really don't understand how that works. That's okay, though. <coughs> you see, I, I was pretty confident I'd be able to come back out here. And it looks like I was a smart guy for doing so. I don't remember that body being there. I wonder if there's a way from over there. Hmm. Okay. Fuck me, I guess. I wonder... Nah, I definitely can't. What's the harm in trying, though? Come on, man. I can do this shit. I've done this. I've climbed a fence like that. Tell me you can't. You just gotta be careful you don't fall and impale your asshole. Oh, boy. Huh. I'm just gonna hide in those bushes. Alrighty. Now I'm fairly confident that uh at this point I don't have to worry about anything being lost or anything attacking me for that matter. Oh, young roommate is home with food. Oh my god, that was good. Oh! Wow. I am... I am refreshed. I'm refreshed and... Got nutrients in my body. Oh, it's all so good. Can I disarm this or what? You're not gonna let me? I don't understand at all what the point of these traps is then. Normally you can disarm them. But you know. Whatever. I'm almost positive, whatever. I wonder if I had been here earlier, if I could have made her break these crates apart for extra supplies. One could only hope. Alright. I'd say I'm about done with this place, but... Come on, I know I can disarm these traps. Whatever. Also, there has to be a reason for all this shit over here. Is there really not? God damn it. I think I had this same exact reaction last time I came in here. And I keep thinking that reflecting light is like a fucking item. Oh, the light shine. Okay. I think we're about good, honestly. Yeah, I'm good. 
It's time to get out of this fucking place. I'm supposed to just go into the marrow, right? Yeah. Wouldn't it be fun to explore around in areas not previously accessible? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps it would be. Or perhaps you'll get nothing for your efforts and look like a huge idiot. Your choice. Oh, snap. See that? That actually is pretty dope. I appreciate that they uh they hooked me up with some with some bullet with some gunpowder right there. That was really nice of them. They didn't have to do all that. This place is falling apart. If this was real life, I would not spend anywhere near the amount of time that I do scavenging. Looking for I'd be on the I'd be on the warpath trying to get my daughter back. But guess what, bitch? It's not real life. You're a scripted event, and you have to wait for me. Ha 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 ha. Foolish human. Plus, you're not going to kill her. You need her power. So. You might torture her psychologically, though. Actually, you're definitely going to torture her psychologically all over the place. How many? Three? That's... I was hoping for more, but it's not two, so. You know what? You can't complain. You're not allowed to complain. Don't you dare fucking complain. Okay. I'm out of here. Hold on a second. for me to go there? I don't think so. Five, eh? Well, all right then. Now there's only one locker key in here, and only one photographic slide. Now, I want to make goddamn sure I've gotten both of them before I pass this level. But I have looked and looked again and looked one more time. Almost positive I know where they are. But I'm not worried about it. Must be the passage O'Neill was talking about. I must have missed, not, not not heard him. I must have not. Bleh. Must have not heard him say he was going to open this for me. Lily, really? oh, this place is messing with my mind. 
All right, so the way these work is they're a little confusing at first, but you can't affect the red one. You're only affecting the green one. The left thing changes height, and the right thing changes frequency. So you just make it as high as the, the other one, and then you just mess with the, the right stick until you get it. And then you're all good. Now what's in here? Something fun? Something very fun. That's actually, I mean, you know, it's not so amazing considering I've been getting 150 on the regular. But whatever. Still 250. Still dope. Appreciate it. Okay. I will definitely take 10 gunpowder. And 150 more. God, I love that. And it was worth it this time. I got three back. I really wish that there were some guys across the way right there that I could just pop. key which apparently I did not get I thought I had I'm really happy I haven't it's right there it's the one and only locker key in this whole level and it's right in the beginning too so it's really easy to get and I don't know but I'm, I'm pretty sure you can work your way back through the marrows brains wait didn't I kill that guy earlier I totally did kill him <laughs> wow whatever hello why you guys designed this place to be so spooky and dimly lit, huh? Jesus Christ. Literally pitch black down here. Hello? Whoa. What the hell is this stuff? It's nothing good. That's for fucking sure. But it does have good stuff hiding in it sometimes. Can't believe I haven't found assault rifle ammo a single time. Or magnum ammo. Like that would be dope. Okay. This is where the photographic Dr. slide Lily's was. A secret society abducted Lily and staged her death? Do you realize how crazy that sounds? But it's true. Why can't you understand that? I know it's hard to accept, Lyra. But she's gone. Our little girl is gone. But I have proof. Look. Yeah, he's Lyra, a detective. Why didn't he just listen? 
You need rest. Once you get past this, you'll learn to accept... No! I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. Myra. You were right all along. That's where the fourth slot is, which apparently I got. But, but why am I seeing this now? Because this is her go. Dun dun dun. I almost have a comical amount of herbs at this point. Got mad herbs, man. The fuck? Hello? Spooky monster man? Where's the fun in that, though? Oh, no! You didn't like that, did you? Magnum to the face! It's too bad I wasted a bullet, though. Oh my god, that was awesome. That was fucking awesome. The thing did not like that, that's for sure. There's a way to sneak past it, or you can just run, I'm pretty sure. I got sniped it the first time. That was pretty great, though. Oh, that was awesome. Love the sound of this thing. Wish I'd heard it in real time. I gotta time. get the hell out of here. I gotta get the hell out of here. Just killed the biggest monster in here, no problem, bro. I think you're fine. He is still just like Jesus, though. From time to time, he's like, I don't even know what's going on here. There could be a thousand of those. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see what we can find. Oh, Jesus, you're still alive, buddy? Apparently, I can't use bullet time in that mode. This place was supposed to be fucking stable. You thought wrong. Dun dun dun. Nature preserve, eh? I bet you I go there later. Ah, <sighs> this is empty. Double-barreled shotgun. Looks like someone's enjoying the show. What makes you say that? There's something around that... Why, why did you say that, Sebastian? Like I said, same height. And yeah.
Please tell me there's a high-end weapon part in here. Fuck you. Shotgun shells. Nah, that's good, though. I have a comical amount of weapon parts at this point. It's really just the high-end weapon parts I need. Feel like blasting right now. Hello? Someone's been watching. Lily. Whoever's been here was gathering data on her. Don't move. You're Mobius, right? I... Shut up! <clears throat> Don't say a word. You're not one of us. No, I'm not. Kidman sent me. Look, I'm here to help, okay? My name is Sebastian Castellanos. You're lying. Sebastian Castellanos is dead. What? No. Who told you that? Turn around. Do it slow. You're Yukiko Hoffman. Boom, big How do you reveal. know my name? I told you. They sent me in here to find my daughter Lily. The core. I'm telling you the truth. I know. You do? Lack of microexpressions and deflection. No verbal parroting. I've seen enough to know you're telling the truth. Verbal right. parroting. The team psychologist. I have to use whatever tools I have to survive. That's true, Yukiko. Combat isn't my forte. Seems to be a running theme here. Sorry for pointing my gun at you. Combat's my forte, though. You're so more adept than your friend, though. Now? That means things aren't improving. Have you found any other team members? I have, but the only one I've found alive is O'Neill. Liam is alive? Good. Has he made any progress on stabilization? The big emitter's back on, but this place is still falling apart, and I think it's all because of this psycho that kidnapped Lily. He's running loose in Union, and can manipulate this place at will. That means my theory is correct. This is more than a core disconnect. We doctors don't like to use the term psycho in pejorative terms. But in this case, it's apropos. Only a clinically diagnosed psychopath could affect STEM like this. A psychopathic personality type using Lily to amplify his power. This is the worst possible situation. You're a shrink. Any suggestions on how to defeat him? Psychopaths are antisocial, lack empathy, and exhibit sadistic tendencies. But their main commonality is their pathologic egocentricity. They don't care about people, only themselves. Can you think of anything that would be important to him? Yeah. He thinks he's some sort of artist. It's all he talks about. Then maybe the best way to attack him would be through his art. Destroying something valuable to him could knock him off of his guard. I'll keep that in mind. But I've got to get to him first. He's holed himself up in the theater. Right. There so you go. exit D5 then. It's right here. Just in the next room. Let's pair communicators so that we can stay in touch. That's why I'm here. I'll review my files and see if I can't dig up any more information about what's going on. I still feel like there's more to this. Regardless, he's probably going to be difficult to fight. Feel free to help yourself to anything here you might need. I feel like Liam could have radioed you and let you know I was coming and let me know you're here. So does Lily really think I'm dead? Or was that just a part of your lie detecting test? Sorry to break it to you, but she does. I thought it was the truth, too, until just now. But over the years, I've learned to take everything Mobius tells me with a pinch of salt. It wasn't difficult to see you were telling the truth. 
Why would they do that? Not a grain, a pinch. What kind of monsters do you work for? I know it's not right. But consider this. Lily is probably less traumatized by thinking you're dead than by thinking you're alive, but she can't be with you. Yeah, maybe. But what will happen when I finally find her? Don't worry. She'll believe the evidence of her eyes once she sees you. If Mobius knew to keep psychopaths out of STEM, then how did one end up in here? I don't know. Or three. Every individual in STEM was subjected to a battery of psychological exams prior to placement. And we've been observing them from here, in secret, to keep an eye out for mental instability. Yeah. Well, that didn't work. Unfortunately, psychopathy and sociopathy are incredibly difficult to diagnose correctly. Psychopaths tend to be cunning and highly intelligent. Aware of their own diagnosis, they're able to disguise themselves among us. The fact that this one was able to fool us, he's obviously adroit and self-aware. Disturbingly so. Great. So the tests only filtered out the weakest of psychos. I feel terribly responsible for all of this. I helped devise those tests. You said you think there's something more to this? I study the Beacon incident extensively so that we could avoid another disaster like that. In that case, the person in question was the core. But even then, the environment remained relatively intact. Something just doesn't seem right here. What do you mean? The creatures in here. The dissolution of Union. The total breakdown in communication with Mobius. It just seems like a lot for one person. Even with the power of the core. He mentioned someone before. Another person who wanted the core's power. That could mean... No. It's too horrible to contemplate. What? There's only one thing that could be more powerful than a psychopath in here. Another psychopath. Before I can commit to the theory. Another more powerful psychopath. All right. Thanks, girl. Alrighty. Have myself a nice sip of coffee and relax. Take the edge off. Ah. Very relaxing. Nope. That's where I just came from. Uh, let's see. Yep, yep, yep. Even though I already looked at that. Four. And there's nothing else here, which is unfortunate. It's fine. I'm gonna go over here. It's been a while. Hi, kitty. Yes. Who's a Mr. Kitty? Story time. Already done number four. As I already have. It's me, Kidman. Good to know you're still there, Sebastian. After Beacon, I tried to make some sense of what happened to me. But everyone said I was delusional. For hiding the truth, I started to believe that maybe they were right. That maybe I was crazy. I felt so frustrated. Useless. Drinking was the only thing that killed the pain. So much time wasted. I could have tried harder. Shit. Don't beat yourself up, Sebastian. When Mobius doesn't want to be found... Don't make excuses for me, Kidman. I fucked up. Look, Sebastian, this isn't the time to dwell on the past. This is the time to make up for it. Self-pity is what led you to drink in the first place. You have a chance to get back what you lost. Don't lose sight of that. Harsh, but true. You're right, Kidman. Thanks. You know, I'm almost convinced. Like, I'm almost... Like, 
convinced that I've definitely gotten every single slide, and yet I'm missing two slides. So, so far, I've been, uh... Pretty thorough about checking. But... You know... Whatever. You know, it's not like, uh... It's not like I'm almost positive that I've definitely gotten all of these slides. Unless maybe I died afterwards and then they weren't saved for some reason. But I'm also pretty sure I didn't die that much last time I played this. Alright then. Oof. Let's go back and check. Oh, I like how there's... Take a look at some of the information I was able to dig up on your guy. Stefano Valentini. Artist. Yeah, that's him alright. He's quite a flamboyant character. Seems he never reached the level of success that he wanted. Sounds familiar. I know of another flamboyant artist who failed. Then he started World War II. Let's hope this one isn't that bad. Even if he's not, he still needs to be stopped. Did he just shout out Hitler? They didn't take a look at all of his art. Yeah, I guess this is a very artsy negative review. Doesn't necessarily say this dude is putting body parts up all over the place. Like, this is not the kind of guy you want hanging around. <laughs> Hi, kitty. Oh, wait, sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry. I forgot about the brain. Who's who is the best kitty? Who's the best kitty around? Yes. Oh my god, that's amazing. Still have zero, right? Sure do. Unless I get one here. In deal or no deal. We've got right. to stop meeting like this, detective. You seem more at ease, detective. 
You've found a possible ally in this dangerous world. I sure Not have. sure about that. I never know who to trust in here. Present company included. A shame. Sh After all we've been through together. Isolation and distrust aren't symptoms of mental illness. But they are... Unfortunate byproducts of it. Closing your... You are human. You require connection the way a plant requires life. Skip. The only connection I require right now Something. is to your machine. I've still got a long road ahead of me. Deal or no deal. Oh man. So this row's done. This row's done. And this row's done. And this row's done. I don't know why I chose to do it like this, but hey. Lock you in the mouth. Fuck you in the mouth. Fucking green gel. Where was all this green gel when I needed it? Yes, yes. Detective Castellanos. Good to see you again. You seem more at ease. You found a pop. Not sure about the present company. A shame. Isolation and closing yourself. You are human. The only connection I've still got. Oh my god. You know what? Fine. Whatever. Okay. Later, kitty. Later, Hoffman. Anything good in this room? It's kind of good. Five thousand. I'm pretty sure I'm at the end of chapter 6 right now. I just have to go to the uh, actual front of the theater to start chapter 7. Which is a mistake a lot of people make. Well, I guess it's not really a mistake. But... I mean, if you wanted to, you could consider this whole part chapter 6. And you could do the entire thing. Like, you could clear this whole next area without even triggering the front of that. And then, uh... If you never go up to the... What I'm trying to say is, if you never go up to the front... Oh my god, yes. If you never go up to the front of, uh... The theater and trigger it, Chapter 7 technically never starts. What is all this? Nice. So yeah, technically this would all be considered Chapter 6 if you were to do that. But you know. That's really on you. Finally got a high-end weapon part. 
What should I use it on? Handgun, sniper, shotgun are all maxed. Hmm. Oh man. Nah. This is more fun. That's way more fun. All right, so I need one, two. Three, four, four more. I mean, part of me wants to upgrade the Magnum, but it's already brolic as fuck. And also, I never use it because I have no ammo for it. I use it, I use it occasionally. I guess. This is what I've been actually meaning to use. I haven't used this bad boy in a minute. Now I got poisonous smoke bolts? These guys are fucked. I'd be- I would be fucked on classic mode if I tried playing this. Uh oh. Let's make sure everything's still going the way it's supposed to. I hope it is. It looks like it is. Yeah. Just occasionally I'll look over and the stream will just be frozen. And 99 times out of 100. All right. The theater. I'm coming for you. Yeah. So you can't really hear it. Or see it, I guess. But this area is fucking massive. It's the second biggest area in the game. You should become familiar with it, because you're gonna go through it twice. But, uh... The second time around, you'll know where everything is. First time around, you get to explore. But yeah, you could... If you don't go to the theater right there, you could just do all of it. And clear everything, and it would still be considered Chapter 6. But... I'm just gonna clear a little bit. She get hurt by the poisonous gas? That's awesome. I think she got killed by the poisonous gas. Or she just died because of the fire. Either way. So yeah, like I said, you can clear a lot of this area. But, I would recommend just, if you want to take a break, or stop, or get a new save or something, just run on over here. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I totally forgot about this thing being up here. Yeah, I did eventually find it, but... Gotta do all that bullshit first. Hello? Is anyone over here? No? Well, that's good. Check it out. These are the two pictures that are so fun. These things about. Damn it. Lily's inside there. You did not appreciate my beautiful Obscura's performance. Not really. This one is more to your liking. Listen. No! Somebody help me! I'm preparing my greatest work yet, but you are not worthy enough to witness it. Not until you learn to respect my art. Listen. Listen to their screams. The echoes of my work. Respect art, huh? Time to put Hoffman's theory to the test. There you go. Boom. And that right there, people, is where I'm going to call it. That's it. That's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Check out the channel if you want to see other stuff. You know that you know the deal. You know the whole shindig. Hope you enjoyed and I will catch you on the next one. All right. Peace.